What's going on guys? I'm with Moose and today we have a new Team of the Weeks in the game. Of course it is Monday so uh, there are new Team of the Weeks and unfortunately the Cowboys did lose yesterday. I was hoping for a Joseph Randall in the Team of the Week because his first half was insane. He had like 100 yards, 3 touchdowns in the first half and then the second half the Cowboys didn't even score 1 point. They had a terrible half so uh, we're going to kind of disregard that. Devonta Freeman went off and he actually got a card in the Team of the Week this week. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't an elite, which was a little bit surprising to me, but I guess they kind of wanted to upgrade him slowly. Uh, maybe they're figuring that he'll have big weeks later on in the year, and they don't want to give him a great card early on. But you guys are seeing right here, um, AJ Green is the week three hero, and also Tyron Matthew is a 91 overall, and he's in packs for 48 hours right now um, as a, you know one of the additional uh, you know elites. So let's take a look at the upgrade set real fast. If you guys are unfamiliar with this, um, there's four gold cards in this one, and you need... Uh, all of those four to get one of the players in the actual uh, big team of the week set. You could also pull those other cards, but you could also do this set if you'd like to to get a random card that's in, uh, you know, the, the Adrian Green set. So, like I said, Devonta Freeman's in this one. Jordan Hicks, let's see if he's up. Middle linebacker for the Eagles, never really heard of him. 81 overall, not really going to check the stats on these guys unless, you know, I think they could be really good. Bradley Roby, 81 overall. I'm just curious what his speed is. 94, so that's very good. His coverage stats are, you know, pretty good. 91 man, 85 zone. Actually, that's pretty solid, but his press and player reckon catching aren't that great. Uh, but overall, okay card. Uh, Derek Carr also got a card. I'm sure many Raiders fans are happy about that. I think they played pretty well yesterday as well. They beat the Browns, if I'm not mistaken. Derek Carr, 20, 25 carry. Now, he should drop. This could be a good budget card. Uh, not going to lie. 6'3", 83 speed, so nice speed. Decent throwing stats. 97 throw power is sick. So, you know, not, not too bad of a card right there. And then Devonta Freeman right here, 82 overall, like I mentioned. And this card is actually looking pretty solid, going for around 27K. And he is not too bad, 90 speed, 94 juke. His trucking's kind of low, but that's not really his game. Uh, I wish his ball care vision was a little bit higher. But overall, not, not too bad of a card. And if you're a Falcons fan, you might be pretty excited about that one. Now let's take a look at the Week 3 Hero set. If you complete this, you're going to get a 90 overall. AJ Green should be very, very good. Uh, first up, the Week 3 Game of the Week. It was uh, actually the Colts game, apparently. And this one's going for a lot right now. These are usually going to go for a good amount, at least early on. Um, and after taking a commanding 27-14 uh, fourth quarter lead, the Titans squandered their lead to Andrew Luck and the Colts losing 35-33. That was a pretty crushing loss for the, the Titans. Obviously, it would have been a pretty big upset over the Colts, but that's how that goes. Dwight Lowry's our first card. He's not even up. Wow. That's a little interesting. What about Ruben Randall? Was he up? Uh, looks like, yes, he is around 67K. These cards are not going to sell anywhere near that much. Uh, so if you guys are trying to get this Adrian Green, do not do the set today. It's just going to cost way too much. Just wait a day or two, maybe three, and you'll be able to get this card for uh, a lot less. Uh, and that Adrian Green overall will be a lot less as well. Charles Clay going for 125, that's absurd. Uh, he had a good game though, 85 overall tight end, good speed at 83, nice catch in traffic, 93, and you know, solid card all around, 75 run block too is not that bad uh, for a tight end. Everson Griffin right here, the, the final card, the final elite in here, 86 overall, and he's going for about 80K. He should probably drop to around 50, maybe even less than that. Uh, he's looking okay. Block shed is only 75, though. I really like guys with high block shed, and that is not a good one. So uh, pretty much if you guys pull one of these, you're either going to sell them or put them in the set. You probably aren't going to use them unless you're a fan of one of the teams or one of the players. But uh, overall, that is pretty much what's up with Team of the Week this week. Uh, as always, definitely make sure you do the Team of the Week solo. There's no reason not to do it. I'll show you guys it real fast um, just to make sure you guys know what's up. Go to Weekly. And, uh, of course, go to the Team of the Week, and you're going to get one of the Team of the Week Master Collectibles along with 2,500 coins. And uh, a quick reminder, if you get all the Master Collectibles, which is for every single week of the entire season, plus I think a couple in the playoffs, uh, you get a Team of the Year player and also 50,000 coins. So it's very worthwhile uh, to do these Team of the Week solo challenges. There's no reason not to do them. But let's hop into some packs and see if we can get something good. I don't know how many packs I'm going to open. There's still X-Factor packs in the game. If you guys mix, missed my X-Factor pack opening a couple days ago, it was terrible. We didn't get one Elite. It was horrible. So uh, I don't really recommend those, but if you open them up, let me know what you got. I'm going to stick to the Pro Packs in this one uh, and just see what we can pull. Got a Mike Cyphers that might actually sell for a little bit. We still got another Gold card, too. Got a Gerard Powers here, so that's probably not too great, but... Cypheries, is he in the Chargers set? Yes, he is. So he actually might sell for a really good amount. Uh, usually punters, kickers, and whatnot that go in those sets sell for a decent amount. So that would be really cool. But we're going to keep steamrolling through the packs. We still have 2.5 million coins. Still got to upgrade the squad a little bit. Got a Mark Ingram right here. That's actually not a bad pull whatsoever. 81 overall. I'm curious to see what his stats are like. I don't think I've ever pulled him before. 85 speed, 93 carry, 87 truck. Pretty balanced overall. Nice card. Speed is a little bit low, though. Only 85. Is really not too impressive, but 
Let's keep it rolling. Uh, third pro pack up right here. Can we clutch that Tyron Matthew? It would be sick. Lewis Dalmas here, a free safety nonetheless, but not the one we needed. Samson Satelli, uh, 74 overall, and he's in the gold free agent set. So that might be a little bit rare. I don't really know. Uh, I'm going to hold on to every 73 or 74 that I hold on or that I get from now on, regardless of if they're in a set or not. I think somebody commented on one of my videos that I should do that, and I think it's a good idea. Usually they're more rare, so uh, they go for or they go for more. And if they're in sets later on in the season, they could be going for you know 50, 100k, something like that. So might as well hold on to them. Got a Jeff Allen right here. I'm almost positive that dude's in the Chiefs set, so that could be a great pull. Cliff Averill is also a pretty good pull, and this dude is in the Chiefs set, so this guy might go for a ton. Uh, wow, this could be a great pull. I'm not exactly sure. Jeff Allen. Uh, so actually, I want to take a look in the auction house. If this guy goes for like 100k, I'm gonna be freaking out because that would be sick. I don't even really need the coins, but it would be nice. I mean, I did waste like 300k on those. Uh, you know, crap, you guys. Uh, I was looking up AJ Green, and he unfortunately was not in the auction house yet. The uh, the new one, the 90 overall team of the week version. But let's see, Jeff Allen, is he up? And is he going for a lot? Looks like he's definitely going for a lot. Uh, 21k. That's still very good, though. I'm not going to complain whatsoever about that. That pays for like three pro packs. Very solid pull right there. And, you know, like I was mentioning, those 73, 74 overall guys, they might go for a ton. So let's keep it rolling. We'll go, I think, two two more pro packs. That's probably about right. Try to get that Tyron Matthew. Try to get a couple Team of the Week pieces that we need. Uh, you never know. If you don't open packs, you're guaranteed not going to get any of them. So might as well try. Got an Andre Caldwell right here. Is he in there set? Matt Ryan's actually a pretty good pull as well. These are not bad packs whatsoever right now. Matt Ryan, 84 overall. He uh, dominated the Cowboys in the second half yesterday. Really kind of frustrating. And Caldwell is also in the Broncos set. So we'll take a look at Caldwell in just a second. But let's open one more pro pack. We'll end it out there. And then take a look at Caldwell just to see what he goes for. I'm getting pretty lucky in these last few packs, though, because I'm almost positive Caldwell goes for upwards of 20, 30K, too. So got a Ramon Foster here. That will probably be our last gold that we get. Yeah, it is. So the last pack wasn't too hot. But let's see Andre Caldwell. <laughs> I mean... Maybe he goes for like 100k. I've, I see people t tweeting out all the time that they need a certain card like Josh Morgan, Ted Larson. Those guys go for a ton. Um, but I'm pretty curious to see uh, what he goes for. Andre Caldwell. Let's check it out. How crazy would it be if he goes for a ton? That should be enough. Andre Call. And he goes for about 15k. So 15, yeah. So that's still very good though. I'm not going to complain whatsoever. Gold cards that go for 15, 16, 18, 20k, whatever it is. That is a very good pull for me. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below and let me know what you pulled in your packs today and if you're excited for the Team of the Week cards that came out today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.